Hello, and welcome to this episode of The Brief. I'm your host, Meredith Reed. I'm here today with Brittany Miller. She's the Director of Member Services and manages the Trust and Safety Team at Urban Sitter. Urban Sitter is a childcare platform that connects parents and background check sitters through people you know and trust. Brittany on their platform in college, where she worked with over 200 families in the Bay Area. She joined the corporate team in 2016 after completing an internship with Urban Sitter's marketing department. Welcome, Brittany. Hi, Meredith. Thanks so much for having me. It's so good to have you. So could you just start out by giving us a short overview of Urban Sitter? Yeah, absolutely. So Urban Sitter is a child care marketplace where we connect parents and sitters um, through people they know already know and trust. So we have parents signing up with, you know, their Facebook connections, or they can also add schools and groups through our database um, so that they can connect with sitters through people, the parents that they already know through parenting groups and preschools and things like that. So how does Urban Sitter think about trust and safety and what are the main trust and safety issues you face in a business like yours? Yeah, well, here at Urban Sitter, our trust and safety is really baked in our product. It's the basis of our product. We're working with children, which we know is the most sacred thing to many families out there. Um, the founders really created Urban Sitter because they needed an easy, trustworthy way to find sitters through people they already know. So we've embedded that in every kind of feature um, feature in our product. So we think about trust and safety as really the product we're selling. This is why we want to connect parents and sitters in a way that they are trusting the other, the other person. They are making sure that they are, um, they're comfortable with the whole entire process. So we are really pride ourselves in providing resources for both sides to feel those, that, that comfort in knowing that the connection is safe. So Urban Center's main trust and safety issues we face are things such as the classic scam. Uh, we have sitters who have been in contact with parents who have sent them fraudulent checks just because they built trust through the messaging. And then they went ahead and cashed those checks and it bounced. So we've put in place things in place to prevent measures like that, of course. Um, and we actually decreased the number of posts that were fraudulent by about 99%. So we're really proud to be keeping our sitters safe on that side. On the parent side, the trust and safety issues that we face tend to be more around the legit legitimacy of the parent sitters credentials, their qualifications, and making sure that they're saying who they are. Yeah, that seems like it would be a major concern. Obviously, when you're dealing with your kids, you care a lot about trust and safety. So what are some main concerns you find that parents have when they're coming to a platform like Urban Center looking for child care? Yeah, a lot of parents are really concerned about, is, is this sitter that I'm finding online someone I can trust? Are they who they say they are? Are those qualifications, this, like I mentioned before, are those legitimate? Are they CPR certified? Um, so we recommend that all parents check those qualifications and also check the identity of their sitters. We do as much as we can on our end. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but we do encourage our parents to also make sure that they are um, taking those, making those checks as well. So what is your process like for verifying your sitters? So we require all of our sitters to complete a national level background check. And before that, we even require them to complete all the requirements of their profile in a way that meets our um, specific criteria based on the industry and just patterns we've used in the past 10 years to find the legit legitimacy of sitter profiles. So we check the rates that they're posting, we check their about me, we um, ensure that their photo is legitimate, um, and then every single profile is actually checked by a human being, no matter what, a sitter will not be able to, uh, to advertise services unless it is checked by our trained moderation team. And do you have an in-house moderation system? 
Yes, absolutely. So we have an in-house moderation system where we monitor all the content on our platform. So anywhere you see a text field, we monitor that. Um, our trust and safety team works 365 days a year to ensure that we are keeping the platform safe for everyone. So we're monitoring content, we're monitoring behavior, we're monitoring images 24-7 um, to ensure that the platform is safe. So if a question or issue arises involving the safety or resume or job history of one of the sitters on your platform, how would you go about handling it? Absolutely. We have a very thorough process for handling reports and flags to our team. So our trust and safety team dedicates the, all of their resources to these types of um, these type of types of reports. And first, what we can do is we first take the person off of the platform, at least temporarily, so we can launch an investigation. That investigation includes talking to both parties when appropriate, ask, reviewing content, ensuring that we've done all the checks, which we always have, but ensuring that um, nothing new has come up um, since then. And we just want to make sure that we're investigating everything in our power and we work with authorities when appropriate. Uh, we're 100% committed to working with authorities. So when it comes to reports such as theft, uh, we have gone ahead and spoke to authorities directly as much as we can to help. So um, how do you flag exactly conversations or profiles that may have suspicious behavior? And also, how do you empower your users to take action in having places that they can flag behavior that they might see as suspicious or toxic? Yeah, that's a great question. We have various reports that we run and we review daily, even hourly, to ensure that everything is safe. So we um, use specific keywords such as curse words or inappropriate jargon that we have found in our in the history or even like from resources that we've done some research on to ensure that those that kind of behavior isn't happening. Um, and we have also been able to gather enough data to identify those accounts before they even can get in contact with someone. Um, so we've been able to identify patterns in contact information and behavior on the platform expressing jobs so that we can make sure that those people never come into contact with anyone on our website. We also empower our users to flag and report content on our platform as we have flags, the flag feature available on each page of our website. Anywhere you would see someone's photo, um, you, should, you would be able to click on it and flag that account to our team. And we check that every day, um, sometimes hourly, depending on what is, like, like I mentioned, the terms and the um, the terms and the behavior patterns that we've already identified. Well, clearly Urban Sitter is a leader in trust and safety because it is such a large part of what you do for people is provide that safety and validating the people that they're hiring to take care of their kids, making sure that they're safe, um, doing background checks, all that good stuff. So as um, someone at Urban Sitter, what would you say um, you would recommend to the rest of the industry as far as setting the bar for trust and safety standards? Absolutely. I think as an industry, it's the childcare industry, we do need to work together because at the end of the day, it's about the safety of the children and the families. And um, we've worked with various, we have a coalition with one of our competitors actually that we work with to ensure that if something is reported on their end that we're taking care of it and so we have a communication line with them to ensure that this community as a whole is safe so my recommendation would be to definitely to partner with other child care agencies and other child care platforms to ensure that the entire industry is safe and our parents and our children are safe well, Brittany, thank you so much for being here. I think that concludes our interview, but we look forward to hearing more from Urban Sitter and keep doing the great work that you're doing in trust and safety. Thanks so much, Meredith. And we'll see you next time on The Brief. <laughs>